Uh, estamos aqui com o doutor Zia, economista sênior do Banco Mundial, é, que acabou de proferir sua palestra na, no, no dia 6, seminário de pesquisa sobre ciências do comportamento e educação financeira. Então, eu gostaria de fazer algumas perguntas agora. É, Mr. Dr. Zia, uh, so what the key points of your presentation are, please? Um, sure. Well, thank you very much first for having me. Uh, it was great. The audience participation was fantastic. Uh, in terms of the key topics, so basically it provided an overview of what we know about um, evaluation of financial education programs around the world, um, why financial education is important, um, why careful evaluation is valuable, um, and talking about um, how financial education can be made better, uh, moving away from the simple classroom model to incorporating innovative delivery channels, uh, incorporating insights from other social sciences such as psychology and sociology into the financial education space, um, and then also talking about different target groups. So can we, can we capture, can we provide financial education at moments where it's more valuable, such as uh, for migrant workers just before they're leaving, so that's when they're going to get an income shock and can, can earn more money and can start saving. Um, or, as in the Brazilian context, where we did a very large evaluation, is targeting uh, financial education for high school students, so targeting the, targeting the youth. Um, so those are sort of some of the main messages. What we see is when we do financial education through these different additional um, uh, add-ons, we see fairly significant effects, um, whereas simple financial education on its own through classrooms generally is not that powerful. Um, so what kind of recommendations and suggestions would you give to those who pursue a financial education in Brazil as teachers, or as planners, advisors, uh, so for everybody who works in this field in Brazil, please? Yeah, so financial education in schools work quite well in, in Brazil, and it was, uh, even currently is, actually the largest um, evaluation of financial education in the world that we did in Brazil, and we found significant effects on financial knowledge, um, as well as financial behavior, not just for the students, but also their parents. Um, so one key lesson, obviously, is to learn from this evaluation and expand this to other schools as well. We looked at just public schools, maybe think about incorporating this in the curricula of private schools as well, possibly looking at the curricula of other levels of schooling, not just high schools, maybe middle schools, maybe elementary schools. The needs are going to be different because teaching younger kids is more challenging uh, than it is to teach adult kids. Uh, sorry, not adult, adult kids, but uh, slightly older kids. Um, and then maybe even into the um, higher education levels, maybe in college, incorporating some aspect of financial decision making. So that's one area that's really important. The other aspect is to try and um, incorporate financial education in social media in some ways, because social media is very powerful. It runs across the whole age spectrum, young people, old people, everybody uses social media. Trying to see if financial education can be helpful in those areas would also be a very useful direction. Okay, thank you very much for your, for your, for your insights and thank you very much for your participation. Yeah, muito obrigado.